lockdown hypocrisy from Democratic leaders as states ramp up restrictions and shutdowns. California lawmakers are reportedly going to Hawaii oh. for a week while the state imposes new restrictions on 94% of residents. And then there is Governor Gavin Newsom apologizing for breaking his own COVID rules by going to a fancy French restaurant. I made a bad mistake. Instead of sitting down, uh, I should have stood up. And I got to own that. And so I want to apologize to you uh, because I need to preach and practice, not just preach. But you know who's not apologizing? New York Governor Andrew Cuomo. Watch. We will make mistakes in life. We try not to, but we do. The key is to be strong and secure enough to admit your mistakes and admit your shortcomings. Don't get defensive. Denying the mistake only assures repeating the mistake. All right, Greg, so if your state relocks down big time, who can afford to fly to Hawaii? Well, the people with a lot of cash. This is the one great thing about the lockdown is that it, re it reveals why people get into politics in the first place, to become immune from the policies that they put on us. Uh, think about, like, think about war. Like, if your dad is a powerful politician, you probably won't get drafted if we had a draft. Or maybe you would be you'd able to get a, an interest-free loan for a house. Or maybe you'd just get a really cushy job somewhere because your dad ha can pull some strings. But we don't know about that stuff because, you know, politics, they place a wall between the public and the secret power that they hold. And that's one of the neat things about Trump was that he pull that wall away. You learned about Hunter Biden. So the lockdowns reveal the hypocrisies of Newsom, Lori Lightfoot, Chris Cuomo. Uh, you can't be so... Andrew Cuomo. Andrew Cuomo. No, Chris, too. Chris, I was thinking of Chris. And, you know, they both, you know. But um, you're violating the rules that you place on others. You can't do that anymore because we all see it. We're in yeah, a world it, now where we see it. Yeah, Dana, like Greg said, it's tough when you see these people egregiously violating the lockdowns that they imposed on the rest yeah, of Yeah, so my mom sent me a note just a moment ago, and she's not mad about it. You know, the Colorado is locking down again. They have a situation. But that the governor there, Governor Polis, hasn't done anything like this. Right? He, I think he really has practiced what he preached, and I think his you know, approval rating is pretty high because of it. I also think that um, just do the right thing for you and your family and your health. Don't think that the government is going to do it for you. I just feel bad for all of these small businesses, Juan, that yeah. had recovered from the lockdowns over the summer, were just getting back up under their feet, and then in places like Michigan, shutting everything down again. Well, I think it's pretty clear the only way that we're going to get the economy rolling again is to get the virus under control. But, you know, I think you should call out politicians who behave in a hypocritical manner. I think they really hurt themselves and hurt their credibility. So. That's their fault. But I do think, and I said this yesterday, these are the right policies, these are good policies, and they shouldn't distract, their misbehaving shouldn't distract from the idea that we have to try to protect ourselves and our families. I mean, that, to me, that's a reality. Y just yesterday, I read something, came from a Mississippi newspaper, Mississippi top officials. So these are Republicans, Jesse. We don't want to see Grandma at Thanksgiving and bury her at Christmas. That's pretty serious. Are you going to have Grandma over for Thanksgiving? We're having a very distant Thanksgiving where everyone, I'm going to the Dollar Tree and everyone is going to have their own utensils. Like no one will touch anything. I come from a family of germaphobes, so we're all pretty good with this. Uh, we, we, you know, we really don't want to talk to each other, sit next to each other. So this is far for the course. Uh, but what I will say is those California lawmakers who are going to the Kehlani in Maui, it's a beautiful resort. Like I would love to go to the Kehlani. That room start at $600 a night. It's on this incredible strip in Wailea. It's like one of the best parts of Hawaii. Why wouldn't they want to go? So, yes, we all want to go. We all want to go somewhere. So why don't you have a big rethink on this? Why do you think that you are immune from the virus and we have to be punished because we're the dumb little dirt people? We are dumb little dirt people who would also <laughs> like to frolic in the Hawaiian sun. Thank you. Wow. Dumb little dirt people. Mm -hmm. That's us.